the people who discriminate the most. But at the same time, it's like they still give you your props of like when you're saying your body's nice or they can't help but to look, they can't help but to envy it or they can't help but to understand how powerful you are, how strong you are. All right, guys, I'm back. This is Josh back at it with another video. Another banger, you know what I'm saying? Back with another banger. Make sure you check out my links in my description. Make sure you check out the workout plan. You know what I'm saying? My book, you know, it's a workout plan. Check out my Discord and then check out the... The call, my 30-minute call, consultation, everything like that. But I want to get right into the video, man. I'm going to get right into the video, man. I really want to talk to you guys. I had another video. I was out on Halloween, so I didn't make a video. And then but other video, I had the sound was working. So I was like, all right, let me make another video. But basically what I'm talking about is body game, uh, body game, body privilege yeah yeah yeah. body privilege body privilege understanding like attraction body privilege <laughs> body privilege understanding like attraction and attention from body game you know what I'm saying for my guys that work out you're saying my guys in sports my guys who hit the gym a lot my guys overseas this is especially really big in europe i've noticed this is really big with like europe like london my guys over there you guys are heavier into the gym, so you guys can relate to this a lot more. My guys in London take the gym very, very seriously. It's a, like, I think y'all's focus is really, really crazy. But yeah, I really love the gym culture in London. I haven't even ever been, but I just like how seriously you guys take how seriously you guys take it. But basically what I'm talking about is body privilege. And the first thing I want to start off with is how universal how universal body language is, like body, like your body essence, how good your body is, your aesthetics your physique and everything like that. So for body privilege, what I want to tell you guys as um, being you saying black guy, whatever in America is that one thing that you get, right, is you get the halo effect for your body. Like a lot of times people may try to discriminate against you depending on, you know, I'm saying the belief systems, religion, all those like really, really strong things. But one thing I have noticed about body game is that regardless if you like me or not, regardless if you hate me or not, one thing I notice is that your eyes cannot the fat cannot tell me you don't like these this body. You know what I'm saying? You don't like a nice body because I've met some of the you know what I'm saying the most discriminated the people who discriminate the most. But at the same time, it's like they still give you your props of like when you're saying your body's nice or they can't help but to look, they can't help but to envy it or they can't help but to understand how powerful you are, how strong you are. And that's what I want you guys to understand for my guys overseas, my guys like in America and everything like that. When you work your body, people love that. You know what I'm saying? People love the art, the artistry behind working on your body, working on your physique because you got to understand this is like a canvas, how your body is, how your muscles are and your health. That is a art gym working out is an art form. So how your body is curated, how your body is different, everybody is different. You are literally a walking masterpiece. You know what I'm saying? You're literally a sculpture. The better you sculpt your body, the more attention it is. It's like you become then a living and walking painting. So that's what I want you guys to understand is like a lot of people who want to discriminate against me or a lot of people who maybe may not want to give me the attention or the you know saying give me the the time of day one thing i've noticed is that you know so they still may take a quick look you know they still take the glance because they still understand how much work it takes to work on your body you know what I'm saying and then um i have gotten like steroid comments and every, everything like that because i'm very vascular a lot of veins or whatever but what i want you guys to understand is like when you work on your body but this is a universal thing um it's just that people understand that the work it takes to curate your body i want you guys to understand that you are literally a walking painting you know what i'm saying you are a sculpture and you need to make sure you're taking care of your cam you're taking care of your body because people want to look at physically appealing things people want to look at things that are not easy to come by so when you have a nice body just by the way you walk it says a lot about you it says a lot about how confidence you are and it also says a lot about your physique you know what i mean like if you have a stronger physique your walk is going to be different and that's what i want you guys to understand is that people you're subconsciously 
relaying messages to people through body language, you know, how you walk, how you carry yourself. And I want you guys to understand that this is universal. You know what I mean? Somebody can't tell you, oh, your body's not good, but universally, you know what I'm saying? You are conventionally the blueprint, you know what I'm saying? Universally, okay, this is the body size that people or models look for. This is what people are looking for. This is what people are attracted to. And this is like history, history, and then evolution. I want you guys to understand that when you work on your body, people will notice, you know what I'm saying? People will give you attention and it is a privilege. You know what I'm saying? It is a privilege because it's like, no matter what I look like, no matter what your preference is or your preference isn't, nine times out of 10, you will want them to have a body similar to mine. Or when you, when you set your goals for gym goals, my body might pop up or your body may pop up. You know what I'm saying? Somebody may not like you. Somebody may not like how you do things, you talk or something stupid, but at the same time, it's like, they're still setting you as the prime goal of what to achieve. And that's why I want you guys to understand. It's like a lot of times people don't think about that is that when you reach a certain threshold of weight, mass, and muscle, you become the blueprint. You become the, the Instagram post, the magazine cover of like in somebody's head of how they want to get started. And that's what I want you guys to understand with body game and attention. It's very hard to discriminate against you because at the same time, they have to watch you to under, uh, to, in order to understand how to get to that level or surpass that level. But they got to start somewhere. So you know, you're the closest thing. They're going to remember your physique. They're going to understand your body. They're going to like it. You know what I mean? And that's just one thing that is a privilege with body game is that they can't take that away from you. You know what I'm saying? When you, when you swole, you're big, nobody can take that away from you. I love that feeling because it feels good and my walk is a lot. You know what I'm saying? My walk is like, all right, you know what I mean? Like, it's, this is a good feeling. That's what I like. And then also for body game privilege, people look for you protection. Like, when I go out, people just assume, like, I'm related to security or something like that. I think it's probably, like, my shoulders or whatever like that. But, like, I'm like, y'all, if y'all start fighting, I'm not breaking that shit up. Like, I'm not. People just got to expect me to protect them. I'm like, bro, like. I'm not about to get either. I'm not about to punch somebody in the face or get punched in the face defending you. And I don't know you. And people would just assume, oh, yeah, like, help not. He can break this up. Like, I'm like, nah, y'all need to talk to security. So that's why one thing I want to tell you guys is that people assume that you're just going to protect them or you are just the go to guy for protection. And I'm just like, y'all, <laughs> that's not how this works. I'm sorry. I, I love people, everything like that. But for a stranger, I don't think I'm going to put my life in the line just because I'm the biggest person here or I'm the most, I had the most muscles. Like, it's crazy. Like, I'm not going to do that. That's insane. But that's one thing I've noticed, like, on body game and working on myself is that people just look to me for protection. It is a good feeling. It's a very masculine feeling. It's very, it does boost your, it boosts your ego. But people just assume that I'm just going to use my power for them. I'm going to use my strength for them to protect them because they may be smaller, they may need help. <laughs> Apparently I'm security at that point and I don't understand why. <laughs> I mean, I understand why, but it's just kind of funny that like that is a privilege that, you know, they may be talking to another dude, like girl may be talking to another dude or whatever like that, but like when push comes shove, you, know, so you probably can't bring a gun somewhere, you, can, you probably can't bring, you know, a pew pew somewhere. People are looking at me like, Josh, come here, like, no. <laughs> Like, that's not how that works. You need to call your boyfriend. You need to call your husband. You need to call another man. I am not that guy that's going to just be protecting you just for the hell of it, for the fun of it, because of muscles. So that's just another privilege with it. And then uh, also another privilege is that uh, I guess that everything you do kind of garners attention. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just that is you may not be validated. You may not be validated. And that's something I, I'm always thinking about or I'm trying to work and get better about. It's like people won't validate you, but it gets attention. So it's like, for example, somebody can look at your story, but they won't like it. You know what I'm saying? They'll look, but they won't validate. It's like the validation is just too much. <laughs> it's like you already got the attention. Validating it is just like, they're like, nah, I'm cool on that. Or they automatically assume that you don't need it because you're so successful in the body game or you're already just so muscular or whatever like that, or they want their body to look like this. So it's like, they won't validate you, but they'll watch. 
So that's kind of why I started YouTube too, like well a while back. I noticed that like people just kind of just my views will always be like really really high, but the engagement will kind of be like not there. But I'm like, so you watched it, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Everything you do just kind of gets attention, or people are just kind of interested. So it is a pro, it is a privilege because I'm very thankful that like things that I do, people are interested in what I'm doing or interested that, okay, I may say this this way or I may do this. So that is a privilege when you practice body game, people will be more interested in what you eat, you know what I'm saying, how you work out, the fashion you go, you like, you know what I'm saying, or what brand shirt is this, what workout good do you, you know what I mean? People are just more interested in what do you take, you know, and everything like that. So that's why I really like, because I can really educate and it, just pretty much inform everybody so but yeah that's pretty much just like body game privileges just wanted to make like a simple video on things that happen to me this is things that happen to me on a daily basis but uh other than that make sure you like the video make sure you comment and then make sure you share too share my videos you feel me because i feel like that does help and i will appreciate it but other than that that's the interview thanks so much for watching i'm out